everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to a speed build video. Today I am building a home for the Skylar sisters. So if you remember a couple of episodes ago in my Hamilton Let's Play, we had an episode about the Skylar sisters making up with their dad again after fighting for a little bit. And I pretty much asked you guys if they should accept financial support from their dad to move into a bigger home and then we had a vote on whether we even wanted that and what kind of home they should move into and the thing that won in the vote is for them to move into a medium-sized home so today i am building the skylar sisters a medium-sized home and i've been building this house for a couple of months now so i might not exactly remember what i was going for in all of the footage what i was trying to achieve with building this uh, but it is a colonial style build like all of the houses in the hamilton let's play series are or at least try, try to be <laughs> so yeah I, I made it like colonial inspired because that's sort of the houses that they used to live in and at that period of time um and uh, it's a little big right now but i make it a lot smaller because i uh, remove one of the floors so it does end up being a lot smaller it's it's a lot bigger than they are living it right now so it's it's an upgrade but it's not like massive it's not a massive step uh, Eliza and Peggy are still sharing a room even. Angelica does have her own room. So like I said, it's an upgrade, but it's not a massive one. As you can see, I did remove the floor here. It took me about three hours to build. It's in Newcrest, like all of the other houses, uh, except for Washington, who lives in Willow Creek. Uh, it's right near uh, their dad's house. It probably is influenced a little bit by their dad because he is financing it. So <laughs> he probably suggested that they live kind of close to him. Um, I had um, it's it's an interesting shape it's not something I've done before and it's not something I've seen before I'm not sure what inspired me to make this shape uh, but I do really like it I think it's very interesting and very different to other builds that I've done so I was quite happy with that they have a rooftop balcony which is really fun uh, I tried to make it both very classy and sophisticated but also fun and I tried to incorporate their colors uh, so a lot of the flowers outside you'll see in a second when I start landscaping are blue and yellow and orange for the colors of the Skylar sisters so uh, it's kind of like muted brown tones but then incorporating a lot of their colors to you know kind of show their own rooms and show their own personality and really show that this is supposed to be a home for the Skylar sisters so I had a lot of fun with that and I think another thing that is kind of important to them is um, entertaining like having people over and throwing parties and just having their home be a fun place for all of the Hamilton Sims to hang out and I am planning to throw them kind of like an a, a new home party I don't know what you call it but I did try to incorporate a lot of like large tables so can they, they can have dinner parties and um, just kind of like a lot of things so they can have people over and have it be a fun place like on the rooftop balcony rooftop balcony I kind of made that a place to hang out and their backyard is kind of a place to hang out so I tried to incorporate a lot of that um, the front of the house has pink flowers so that's not really specified by any of the Skylar sisters I did not want one of the Skylar sisters to have the entire front because I felt kind of biased and I did not want that to happen uh, but one side of the house is going to be blue for Eliza and it kind of turns into that pink at the front as you can see here and then the other side of the home is going to be yellow what I'm building right now for Peggy and then around the pool in the backyard is going to be for Angelica I think Angelica has <laughs> kind of like the the better options in the in, in the house she has the bigger room. She has like the better room in my opinion. Um, she has all of her flowers in the backyard. Uh, but I mean, that's not because I like her most. It's mostly because she's the oldest. And I feel like, you know, older sisters gets all the, the privileges, <laughs> don't they? The older siblings are always the one looking out. But I did have a hard time finding orange flowers but i think overall if you look at it like this you can see that it's mostly orange but i did have to cheat a little bit and get some of those yellow flowers in there so peggy got lucky anyway <laughs> i got some of her flowers flowers in there too and i think my version of the skylar sisters in this let's play um they're both sophisticated but also very fun so i tried to inc incorporate like fun things to do even for the let's play i also tried to incorporate some inside jokes so as you see here i put down this barbecue but then i put like a sign in front of it like don't use because as we all know the Hamilton Sims, they like to set themselves on fire a lot of the time when they try to cook because they're awful at cooking and it happens so much. <laughs> so I g gave them like a barbecue, but then put a sign in front of it like, do not use. 
<laughs> Only Lawrence and Mulligan are allowed to use this. Do not use any in any other circumstance. So yeah, I did try to incorporate some fun stuff um, alongside the more sophisticated stuff uh, to, I don't know, to make it fun for the Let's Play. And uh, I don't know, it was just fun to incorporate some of those inside jokes into the home. But mostly inside is going to be... Especially downstairs. Upstairs I made it a little bit more like a fun hangout area. But downstairs is going to be very sophisticated. You know, those muted tones. Uh, lots of browns and dark colors. Uh, what I usually don't really do. I did try to incorporate some wooden things. Details too. Mostly just to make it look like it's actually from you know the years that they actually lived. Like the Skyler sisters actually lived. Like this could be a home for them. If you remove the technology, obviously, but you know, kind of like the style is very much inspired by that colonial house style. At least that's what I tried to do. And then I also tried to really show their personality through this house. So again, that like classy, sophisticated part, but then also a lot of bookcases because they all like to read. Uh, I put a massive piano in the living room for Eliza to use. That's, some of the, that's one of the goals that I kind of forgot about for a little bit. Uh, but they do now have a piano again, a really, really massive one. Uh, so she can practice her piano skill again for when she has kids. So she can teach them how to play piano. Ugh, that still hurts so much to say. <laughs> Every single time I talk about pianos and Eliza, I'm just like, ah, I'm dying. No. That hurts me. Uh, I'm not going to tell you why. I'm pretty sure you all know what I'm talking about. But just in case I'm spoiling anyone, I'm not going to tell you t tell you why. Um, so uh, the room that I'm working on right now is the kitchen and the dining room. It's kind of an awkward space for the dining table to be in. I'll be honest. <laughs> it's right there in the front of the house. But uh, I did want them to have a really big table. So they can invite over all of the Hamilton Sims. And they can all have a spot to sit down. And they can throw some dinner parties uh, so that's what I tried to do there um, and you know it's kind of inviting to walk into a home and see like a nice nicely set dining table it, it really makes it feel like classy and sophisticated like I was trying to achieve and then at the back there behind the kitchen and the dining room is going to be the shared bedroom for Eliza and Peggy I kind of decided not only because they are the oldest ones but also because they're the only single ones I felt like they didn't really have to have a double bed yet because they you know there's no one going to be sleeping over for now I did lose a bit of the footage there so you didn't really see me building both sides but I decorated Eliza's side and Peggy's side looks very similar uh, I did really go for the you know blue and yellow to specify which bed is theirs and you know which side is theirs and show some of that personality again and as you can see the living room I put in a massive piano a nice fireplace I'm very very scared about the fireplace but let's hope that goes well um <laughs> the last time it wasn't a fireplace but it was a campfire and I think both Peggy and Eliza set themselves on fire by <laughs> using the campfire so let's hope it's just for decoration and they never use it again also uh, a bookcase I put in a lot of like old looking paintings I thought that would be nice some sunflower paintings because sunflowers are my personal favorites I also put down a bunch of sunflowers uh, in, in the rooftop as you can see um and again, kind of like that picnic table for them to hang out, uh, have people over, sit down there. And I just thought it looked very cozy and nice. So what do you guys think is one essential that needs to be in a Skyler sister home? What's like the one thing I cannot forget about? Maybe something I did forget about and something that should be in a Skyler sister home and it's very essential to them. Let me know in the comments. And if I forgot, I might add it. <laughs> and if I did uh, do it, uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully your, your, your essential thing is in the home currently. <laughs> So now moving on to the interior upstairs, I gave Angelica her own room with a double bed. She is the oldest sister and also the only one currently in a relationship with the butler. So maybe he can stay over sometime. We haven't really seen that much of their relationship yet, so I think that would be fun. And then the other rooms upstairs, one of them is a bathroom because they actually don't have a bathroom downstairs, so it's kind of essential. I also gave Angelica a desk because she needs one for her work. And then uh, this is kind of specifically for Peggy, but I feel like she'd be really good at games and really enjoy them so I kind of 
gave her a little bit of a gaming station. I'm not sure why. I just feel like Peggy would be really good at it and also really enjoy it. So yeah, it's kind of like a fun hangout spot again for, for all of the Sims to hang out. Um, but yeah, we're coming up to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see me building more houses like this for uh, Hamilton Sims. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye!